see what we got here, man. Ooh, and you got the place behind it to match. Man, what these is right here, man? Yeah, it's 17-inch G8. Some G8s. Two-piece, 83s. What you call them? The two-piece 83s. These 83s, not 84s, okay. Why you chose the 83 over the 84? I like the two piece wheel better because with these you can re weld your spokes on the loose. The other ones, the, the way they weld the barrel on, you can't reach the back of the spokes because mm. the spokes come loose a lot. Man, because I, I, I hope I had you in frame when you seen it, but you definitely gonna be able to hear it. <laughs> Man. Man. Man, this boy hard now. I'm gonna just play with it, see what we can come up with. Man, so what year this is and everything? You know we gotta cut that copyrighted music down. Okay. Man, how long you been having it? Man, about three years now. Mm -hmm. It's been good, man. Yeah, man, because like I understand with the 83s and 84s, though, sometimes they be clacking. Yeah. And that's what you was talking about when you were talking about welding it, right? That's what caused the clacking? Yeah, basically the welds will come, they'll break and they'll come loose. Mm -hmm. And then people get the clacking wheels. But when they have the, the 84s or the 83s that aren't too big. See, I ain't about to hear nothing as you're saying because yeah. you're talking low. And then the, the beat's so hard, we yeah. got to cut it off. And it's copyrighted music. And when you close it, though, you couldn't hear nothing. But that trunk, when it got the whammy, yeah. and then you could hear that you got something else on the inside because I could hear all the words still. Yeah. So you had clarity. Definitely, yeah. man. So can you explain that to me? Because I know you're talking yeah. a little lower. So like when you, with the, the other 83 and 84 single piece wheels. Okay. That don't have the buttons. Okay. You can't weld, the, you can't reach your spokes. But since this is a, it's a real two piece wheel, you can take the face out and your spokes are right back there and you can re-weld them. Okay. So that's why you chose uh this is a two-piece yes okay so when you explain me to a two-piece what this is one piece yeah basically this 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 whole face of the wheel will unbolt from the barrel okay so you okay pull it out. okay so these, these are texas wire wheel yes. okay 83s with buttons yep. okay because i'm trying to understand the whole thing like man what made you choose this body style this car was already kind of put together when you got it. Nah, man, when I bought it, it was uh, it was just stock. It was, Damn. Uh, Hundred thousand mile when I picked it up, and uh, it was some uh, old couple's car, and they traded it in and for a Subaru, and I found this and went and bought it. Cause I have another one, a '97, and uh, I bought the Swangers, put it on, and the car kind of didn't want to run right. The next day. Damn. So, man, I went and picked this one up and bolted it up, and man, it's been good and looked better than the other one. And man, the car, putting the trunk on it, the system, you know. Man, we got to snap a picture with you by the car, man. We got to do some crazy little, you know what I'm saying? Hold on one moment. We keep it clean. It's quiet for sure. Your motor sound like it's just purring, man. Hey, so can you explain to me the, the actual the other part of the trunk? I know the, the Continental kit is a part of it. Yeah. And it come back, it fall down. But yeah, the trunk, man, it's just a, the sign to be, you know, put your slogans on. And it's like you just pop it, you got the neon lights in it, and then when they blow at night, you know, people be tripping out. And yeah. And of it. And man. We just represent the Houston scene, man. It's part of the car culture. Man, so what is this? You have to buy a fifth. 
wheel to get this kit. Or do you have to cut? Yeah, you gotta you gotta cut your uh, shell, and then you figure out a way to mount your rim in there, and you get your pump going, and then you in there. So the whole thing come empty face when you first get yeah. get it. Yeah. And then you gotta measure the rim face. Then you gotta waste the whole rim to be able to do this. Yeah, you gotta cut the barrel off the wheel. So you tell me you gotta have money to do this shit. Yeah. You kinda <laughs> do, bro. Too. This, man, you know. Else. I've been watching this dude on YouTube, man. I, I think it's cool where it's like he go check out people's cars and then he ride with them. And then sometimes he even drive it. Uh, Auto Autotopia or something like that, yeah. LA. Yeah. And he be having a lot of dudes with muscle cars and stuff. But I mean, this is Texas all day, man. So are you originally from Houston? Nah, man. I'm, I'm but you just from... appreciate the culture. Yeah. And you want to build it correct. Because I mean, this Pearl is still nice. Yeah. But I'm saying you got the, the, the plate behind it, subtle details to make it all come together. And I think that a lot of people don't even really notice the plates on the cars and stuff, Probably like, not. a lot of times. Man, so why did you go to 17? Because see me, I'm thinking 20s. Like, when I see the Swangers and they in the 20, I'm like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Or even the 22. And I think they go way up to what, now, what size? They go to 24s? 24 now, yeah. Oh, man. And but I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't do sell many of them. No, nah, not really, and they do a 24-inch Coke now. Mm-hmm. So, these are uh, G8s with the eight-inch Coke. Okay. So, do I, you ever plan to go bigger? Man, I want to do some G15s. But man, so what the? Get, man, y'all hear that? So like, what that mean? How it's gonna go from like what, like eight inches to what? Yeah. So almost multiply how far this is right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, you gonna do that? Yeah, man. Eventually, if I find the suit. Man, so it's you paying for how far out it poke? As well as how many spokes it is. Yeah, they're, they're all 30 spokes. Man, because I ain't gonna lie, I remember when I was a kid though, man, it was all about the 144 spoke Dayton's. Yeah. Ain't that what it was? I think so, yeah. There's something like that, 100 yeah, something. 100 spokes. I just remember I used to always see them in the Love Rider magazine. Man, so you just gotta just keep it in there tip top, keeping it clean. Yeah. For all that system, man, what do you have under, the, up under here, man? Like, do you have double alternators? Did you go? Nah, nah, yeah, bro. It's, uh, it's in the plan, but for now, it's just factory. Yeah, because I'm looking at you got some different components right here, though. I know this is something different. A capacitor? Well, see, uh, this is just for the amp cable, and then uh, this is like uh, my neons and stuff. I got a, a little uh, box power distribution block, mm -hmm. and I got the neons all running off of there as well as the trunk neon. So when you get in, what you got to hit, man? Now, uh, right now... <laughs> I'm still gonna build a console for it, but I got a toggle here, this one here, this for the trunk, that's the fifth wheel, and then that's the neons over there. Man, yeah, but, man. I'm gonna build a console all right here and mount all that up with some more speakers. Okay. I have been seeing a lot of people getting some really nice consoles. I got somebody on Instagram bugging the hell out of me. And I'm like, uh, I really don't wanna put no console on my Monte Carlo like that. Yeah. Not that one. Man, what you think about this, man? You finna oh, get you shit. one? Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Watch out for them elbows. <laughs> well, I think about it, man. This thing right when here. He, yeah, when we first put it together, what you was thinking, like, man. Bro, I done seen this thing transform from just having the swingers to having the fifth wheel, uh, the chrome lady on the hood. It was a stock car when he got it. It was a clean-ass car, I'm not going to lie. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Cut it out. Nah. I'm talking about, I helped this man right here. Took this whole wheel. We cut a swinger in half with that's a, what with you a grinder. Me. You know what I'm saying? That's what you tell me. And I was like, so you got to waste a whole wheel to put See, that. that's at least $5,000 right there. Just some wheels? Yeah, oh, you talking about that wheel itself? No, oh, really no. Nah, I ain't no damn 5000 If it was new, it would be. The no. wheels themselves are six fifty per per wheel. Yeah. The bumper kit I picked up for about 800 because so that's what people gonna want to know too and i'm like i wasn't gonna ask but i'm like i'm just yeah. taking for what it is ain't in my business what you spent but i know you put a lot of work into this yeah and this is your first lab you ever yes okay the first lab would you do another one yeah but it would probably be a, a lot easier process because you know actually and you ain't gonna take the all uh, make all the mistakes that you made the first time yeah. what's the biggest mistake you think you made when you put this car together the first time Cause I'm pretty sure it, it took you a lot of stuff to get to this. Like that, what Jason was explaining. Yeah. What would you say would be the most the, challenging part the of having a slab? Most challenging part is the actuators for the trunk to mm -hmm. open and close and make sure it'll close all the way, but open enough for you to read the sign. Yeah. 
Because the first time we had it where it would open all the way, but then when you shut it, it'd still be like six inches from being closed. Damn. So. Hey man, do you be do you be do you be getting in, in the wars with people when you go to Houston? Man. When you go to Houston, they gonna be swinging on you. Like I be seeing I the boys in their trunks, and they be going fast as hell and skirt, skirt, yeah. and it's like a cat and mouse game. I see them going down the wrong way of the street, and I'm talking about they really getting to it. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man, it's like this shit's serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nice. It's a it's a beautiful style. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think you just gotta appreciate it for what it is. And it's like, thing about it, I don't want to tear my shit up. So I'd be thinking like, ain't no way in hell. Like I would have, they, they be having full show cars, candy paint. Oh and that's my, they be cutting each other off. Just, they I'd be like, bumping swingers together and bending them up and shit. Man, they be out there. Hey, them, it's an expensive hobby. And that's why I was thinking though. Like if you go somewhere, do people swing on you? Like when Mustang guys get together, when Honda guys, when oh, we yeah. come across each other at rail, I don't matter what kind of car you got, it's some other idiot out here that want to see what you're they, trying to do. They just got to play, man. <laughs> But the only other thing I know about it, man, whether you hate it or you love it, you can't help but look at the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Big yeah. fat. It's going to draw a lot of attention no matter where you go. No where especially you go, out here, I think that you're going to get more attention because you're in your own lane. Yeah. And you out here and you staying true to the culture and building the car. You get what I'm saying? This is nice. Can't wait to see it with the console put together. Maybe yeah. we go for a cruise or something. Yeah. But like I said, man, let's see what this do. I'm hoping that everybody that's watching this video enjoying this content that I'm creating. And I'm just... Show you how they doing out here in Texas. Holding it down. Man. Yes, sir.